Hello YouTubers and Parways and this is our 13th video in uh, Python KV. So in the previous video we have learned that how you can create pop-up in uh, KV. So this was from the previous video. Uh, if you're on the source code you can just check uh, my blog codeloop.org and you can get all the source codes. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you that how you can play mp3 sounds in KV. So for this, uh, we need to use from kiwi.core.audio module, we need to use sound loader. So now let's get started. I've already created a new Python file. Now the first thing I need, I'm going to uh, just import my app. So uh, from kiwi.app, I'm going to import app. After that, we need to uh, import the sound loader. So it's related to uh, kiwi.core.audio. Uh, from this, we are going to just import sound loader. And after that, we uh, also we need to just use a label. So from kiwi.uix.label, we are going to import label. Okay, now uh, we need to create our uh, main class, window class, uh, that extends from this uh, app class. So I'm going to just call it music window. And this class extends from the app class. And after that, we need to just create a build, uh, our build method. And now we need to create the object of, uh, and now we need to load our music. So we can use the sound loader for loading our music so you can just simply say sound loader dot load and you need to give your file name I've already copied uh, an mp3 music so its name is music dot mp3 it's in my working directory so make sure to add this music where you have your this uh, uh, music kv dot python file so after this we are going to just check that if our uh, if the music is available we are going to just play that music dot play and also we are going to just return uh, this is just a simple label and we are going to just say music is playing Okay, now we need to just create the object of our main uh, music window class uh, because we need to just uh, create our main loop in here. So we are going to just say window, uh, music window, and after that we need to run our window. So window dot run. And now let's just test this. Okay, now you can see the music is playing like this. It's an MP3 music. Okay, now let's just make it a little bit uh, complex. Uh, right now we have just this uh, uh, one file. Now I want to interact this with the, uh, my .kv file. So now let's just do this. Okay guys, now I have created two files. The first one is my Python file, it's kiwimusicapp.py. And the second one is my, uh, this is my Python file. And the second one is my kiwi file, it's musicwindow.kiwi. So I think it's .py, let me just change this. It should be .kiwi just, the extension should be. Okay, now this is my kiwi file, musicwindow.kiwi. And this is kiwi music app. this is my Python file. Now, uh, for this, the first thing I need, I need some ports. Uh, so I'm going to just copy. Uh, first, I'm going to just do some copy pasting from the previous code. So I'm going to just copy and paste these. And also, I need to from kiwi.uix. Uh, float layout. I'm going to just import my uh, the float layout. Um, after this, I'm going to just create a class that's called my float layout now my this class extends from the float layout okay right now let me just pause this uh, now I need to just create my uh, main window class I'm going to call it music window it extends from the app and 
I'm going to just create my belt method in here. Now I need to just return this my float layout in here. So return my float layout. And now let me just copy this the last part of the code and paste it in here. Okay. So the first thing I need in my TV file, I'm going to just create a button. So when a user click on the button, I want to play the MP3 music. Now you can see that in here I have defined my float layout and it extends from the float layout. Uh, we need to set, uh, define some rules for this my float layout in our TV file. Now I'm going to just copy this and in here uh, you can add a Kiwi version in here so Kiwi version okay now after adding uh, the version now I need to just define some rules for this my float layout okay in here I'm going to just create a button because I'm going to use a button in here uh, so the bold is true and also I'm going to just give a size for the button uh, 0 0.8 and also 0 0.3 uh, also for the text I want to just say play music I've already covered these topics in my previous videos so by this reason I'm not going to talk about the, the about the details of these uh, for example what's bold or what size and you can just watch uh, those videos uh, so also you can add a background uh, color in here so you can just say background color and I'm going to it's an RGBE uh, also you can just give a pose hint uh, uh, you, for example for the right I'm going to just give it one because I'm using a float layout uh, so for the Y I'm going to just give it zero and now let me just run this uh, I should see a button okay uh, now you can see I have a button in here uh, right now there is no functionality uh, I want when I click on this play music button uh, I want it should be play a music now for this uh, we need to just uh, define a method in our this my float layout uh, for this okay now in here I'm going to just say def play uh, music and let me just create um, music in here and I need to load the music so it is music.mp3 and after that if music is available I'm going to just play my music like this okay now after this in my Kiwi file uh, I need to just uh, connect my this uh, method uh, play music with my this Kiwi file button so for this in here we need to just use on release and in the on release we are going to just say root dot play music so it was a uh, play music uh, yeah this was play music and you can see that on release root dot play music uh, now I'm going to just run this and we are going to check that it's working or not now if I click on this play music uh, you can see now our music is playing Uh, okay, thank you guys. Uh, I will add the source code to the video description. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and also share the video.